Happy December Elves when we are kicking things off with a dedicated review of a fragrance that I'm sure you're going to want to know about and that is none other than the Parfums de Marly Valaya. Let's get on into it. Welcome back to the channel everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes we're doing the dedicated review to Parfums de Marly Valaya. I've had this fragrance for what's this like six months at this point. I think even longer than that so it's well worn, well used. I know how I feel about it and I've worn it in a lot of different scenarios. Y'all have even heard me talk about it this year for one very very special one in particular so I'm very excited about it as always lipstick of the day today everyone was feeling kind of nudie but with a gloss over it so I went in with my AJ crimson lipstick this shade is called bondage which is this mauve nude type of color it's literally my lips but better so that's why I like to reach for and it's like a glossy type of lipstick so I don't really have to do much to make it work so I like that everything on my face will be in the description box linked below so you don't have to worry about it next up we have fragrance of the day which is of course the fragrance we are talking about and that is none other than Parfums de Marly Volaya that is our fragrance of the day and the one that we got to talk about because oh I have some thoughts about you. As always when it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. I realized that now. <laughs> First category is mood and that is simply how does this fragrance make me feel? Where am I wearing it to? What is the feeling? The time of year? All of that. We talk about it in the mood. Second is strength and that is on a scale of one to ten with one being this ain't nothing but water in a pretty bottle to ten being this is nuclear juice. I'm gonna have to scrub to get it off and I'm smelling on my clothes for a week. <laughs> Third category, very important, is longevity, and that is how many hours long lasting is this fragrance because we all like our fragrances to last. I know I do. And then the fourth category, which is kind of important to some people, not necessarily to everybody, but hey, it matters because we're talking about fragrance here. And that is, this is a compliment getting fragrance, and that is a yes or no answer. So we talk about it there. Now you know how we do things. So now let's get into the specs of this fragrance. This is a new release for 2023. It is 2023 when I'm filming this. This came out in the springtime, so earlier in the year. So so yes, this is a new scent that I will be able to include in my fragrances of 2023 roundup that I will be doing in January. I'm excited about that. So this was a new fragrance and this was in the feminine fragrance line. So the feminine bottles all look shapely and cute and they have a nice silhouette about them. And this is an Eau de Parfum concentration. It only comes in one size right now, but I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna end up coming out with like a one ounce size since I've seen they have expanded that for Delina, um, De La Rose, and also I think Oriana also has a one ounce size now too. So I'm pretty sure the I would end up getting an upgrade of a travel size as well. So that'd be great because those are usually less expensive. So let's talk about the notes of this fragrance. So we have top notes of bergamot, mandarin, and white peach. Then we have heart notes of orange flower, nymphreol, and vetiver. And then we have base notes of akigaya wood, ambrofix, and musk. And they just have on here, it's best to be worn all day long from morning to evening. So they have it, basically it means year round, just wear it all day whenever you feel like it. So now let's get into what you care about the box. I like it. It's a satiny pearlized finish. Let me tell you, this type of material definitely speaks to me because this was my bridal year. You all know I got married this year and this is peak bridal. And yes, spoiler alert, Valaya was my wedding scent. So that's why I'm very happy to talk about this scent. <laughs> So here's the box, standard 75 milliliters, 2.5 fluid ounces. Again, that's the only size it currently comes in. And let's get to the bottle, which is what y'all care about. Here it is. It is the white frosted one. And yes, it does look different from Meliora because I know some people are like, well, doesn't it look just like the Meliora bottle? Meliora has gold hardware and it has a little bit more of a yellow frostedness to it. This one is more of a white type bottle and it has a silver cap. So, and they smell very different too. Meliora is a different scent from Valias. So I want to say that as well. So since we're here, I'm going to do this dedicated review. I'm going to refresh my nose with it, even though I am wearing it today, but I always like to spray it fresh for the dedicated reviews. Again, I purchased this fragrance back in May. So again, I've had it for a while and let's talk about it. The opening is super fresh. You definitely get the white peach and the bergamot for sure. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if I was just going off of the opening notes, which a lot of us thought this scent was gonna be weak just based on the look of it and seeing the top notes, you would think this fragrance was gonna just go away and just not be good. Let me tell you something. If a scent has Akigaya wood in it, it's gonna have some body to it and some oomph to it and some musk too, which this fragrance has. So let me tell you, do not let the bottle fool you. This one brings the heat. And I will never forget when I tested this fragrance, I thought, oh, whatever, walking around with it, kept the test strip. It got stronger, so that's how I ended up with a full bottle of it because I tested it and I was like, whoa. It blew my expectations out the water for sure. So now let's talk about the rating system. The mood of this fragrance, absolutely to me, 
this is I don't want to limit it to one time of year. I don't because I'm wearing it right now. It's December. It's still able to cut through the cold. This scent is meant for when you're feeling pretty. You still want to smell like girly, but you also want to recognize that, okay, I want my girly scents to also last all day. This is that type of scent. It's very much like I'm wearing, it, well, since it's winter time, I'm wearing a very nice off-white sweater. If it's the summertime, I'm wearing a white sundress. Or in my case, a white wedding dress. Well, I wore ivory. My dress was ivory. But this was absolutely a bridal scent for sure. And in particular, a fall bridal scent. If you haven't seen my fall bridal scent video, definitely check that out because this scent definitely made the list. So that's the mood of this scent. Just when you're feeling pretty, just any time of year for sure. I don't want to limit it to one season. So I actually agree with Parfums de Marley on that. Let's talk about strength. And that was on a scale of one to 10. So going back to what I said about when I first tested this fragrance, this scent definitely surprised me because when I smelled it, just off initial opening spray, I would give this a solid seven. I'm like, oh, this is nice. And I'm like, ah, it's gonna go away. This scent actually gets stronger and believe it or not, it actually wears stronger on skin than it does on fabric and paper. So that is what's fascinating about the scent. So when I factor all of that in, actually I give this scent a solid 8.5. It is a solidly strong scent to, to be this peachy type of effortless type of vibe that they got going on with this scent. No, it's 8.5 for sure. Mm -hmm. And in the summertime, it really could be a nine because of the heat. I know down here in Tennessee, it gets really hot. So this scent was loud. You don't have to spray a lot of it to get the effect too. That's nothing. You don't have to bathe in Valaya to smell it. You're going to smell it and it projects and everybody around you is going to smell it too. Now let's talk about longevity and how many hours do I get out of this fragrance. Let me tell you something. I get a full eight hours out of this scent. I do not have to retouch it. If I want to retouch it, fine. But do I need to retouch it? No. Solid, full, eight-hour day out of this scent. And again, like I said in the previous category, I don't have to bathe in this scent to smell it. You can hit your pulse points and you will smell it all day. And people get wafts of it around you. And you will also smell yourself, most importantly. So this is a scent I don't have to look for. It does project for everybody, including the wearer. So that is a good thing about this. So excellent longevity on this scent. Now the last category. Is this a compliment getting fragrance? Absolutely, freaking lutely This scent, I'm gonna tell you right now, hands down, will go on my most complimented fragrances list of 2023. That video will be coming in January too. Let me tell y'all right now, this scent gets unlimited compliments. Every time I wear it, somebody's gonna talk about it, somebody comments on it. In fact, literally on my wedding day, most people talk about your wedding dress. Oh, you're so beautiful, the dress, all that. People ask me what I was wearing that day and it happened more than once. So that's how I knew this scent smelled good. It was like, you smell so freaking good. <laughs> most people don't say that to the bride. Again, they only focus on the flowers and the dress they cared about the scent so Valaya absolutely was a compliment getter and this was a stunner and a knockout on my wedding day so I gotta say that so now let's talk about this scent price wise too because I realized I didn't mention the price Valaya currently at the time I'm filming this it retails for $355 yes Valaya is expensive however you can catch coupons and sales and things they are happening particularly right now during the holidays I post about sales and things all the time in my community tab so definitely check that out because I'm hoping Valaya will eventually be a part of a lot more sales now that is no longer the newest newest scent from Parfums de Marla as we know Altair has come out too which I'll be doing a dedicated review as well at some point but yes Valaya in my opinion absolutely gorgeous fragrance Parfums de Marley knocked it out of the park with this one if you haven't smelled it I definitely recommend getting a sample of it going to a department store and spraying it like I did walking around with it spray it on another scent strip just to see how you feel take it home let it develop because let me tell you again it gets stronger the longer it wears it's really fascinating i don't layer this with anything this scent can hold its own and it just does what it needs to do and i love it and by the way the head elf aka my husband now he loves this one too he was like i love this scent when i first wore it he was like oh my goodness what is that he knew it was new and that's when i was like yep that's gonna be the wedding scent because i knew how much he enjoyed this one too so it just makes sense <laughs> But alas, that is my dedicated review on Parfums de Marley Valaya. I think this is an excellent choice of a scent. I would absolutely repurchase this when it's gone. It is that good, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of people tried to write it off. I was one of those people, but we had to eat crow. This scent is solid. It is excellent. And I put this up there with Delina. I just do. I just, it gotta be said. 
This is up there with Delina, in my opinion, for the longevity and how amazing this smells because it doesn't smell like anything else in my collection. So I love that as well about this scent. So all right, everyone, that wraps up my dedicated review. Let me know your thoughts. Have you smelled Parfums de Marley Valaya? Do you have Parfums de Marley Valaya? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. What is your experience with it? And let's talk about it. But until next time else, I will catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.